okay? Terrible ending though that was. It happens. And um been practicing this for a while, so my hand is kind of cramping. So, mm. anyway, that was called Billy in the Low Ground. And this is a very nice, flavorful song with uh, some A minor involved. And go ahead and stop the timer before I forget. And this is a really good song to start out with in C. And here's a little known fact for you. I was trying to do one in Beaumont Rag earlier and it was killing me. So I definitely need to practice that a little bit more before I decide to teach it. Um, this one is not too hard, but I decided to go ahead and go with it anyway uh, because I can break it down for you guys and make it sound very well so that your playing can be very well as well. Anyway. Um, it is almost midnight and I'm recording this, so who knows what will happen. So anyway, back to the song. This is going to be in the C shape, C position, the key of C. And I've been doing a lot of videos in G and D lately. Um, so I thought, well, let's get a few songs in C, being uh, Billy in the Low Ground and Beaumont Rag. And uh, we can see what we can pull off in the key of C here. So it starts off with a low part and ends up at the high C. Actually, let me do, let me do a little simpler version. And so that's kind of like a C run. The kind of tricky part is you almost want to pull off there, but don't pull off. And you almost want to pick that that you want to pick that open D, but don't pick it open D uh, after you fret it. It goes to the open G. And then you got a little A minor there. Can use Let's see, but that finger has to come up if you're going to use the first fret here. So it's basically that so we went over the uh the little we went over that twice right here that's pretty much the a part that one can be easily done there. Okay. And that's all upstrokes until you get to the last note here. Okay, so the first part is just a lot of back and forth. Or, which is a little trickier because that, that finger's got to come up and hit that. Whichever one's, you know, you're not going to trip over and it's not going to be too hard for you to play. <clears throat> um, another part on this is after the second time around. Uh, when it goes to the A minor the second time. And then that's just a little slide from the third fret to the fifth fret. Upstroke on the... 
third fret. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on there. So back to this. After that, it goes to the F. It goes to C7. <laughs> so after that, let's see, it's, um, that's the B part. So, so starting with that, let's see, after the, uh, going to try to get to F somehow. There's uh, tons of different ways you can do it. And you're staying at F and just, what I like to do is get that open uh, suspended type chord there. It's kind of like an F. Like if this is an F, you're going to lift your middle finger and get that bar off of there and just pro play the uh, first fret of the B string there. That's an F major 7. You lift this up and now you have an F major 7 suspended. So um, and just kind of play with a little hammer on there. So we have that at the end. So it's actually it's it's like we're going from an A minor to a C. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna try it again. see the second time around I did that um, well just in case one more time let me slow that down see uh, now also you don't have to play the full A minor you can just play that open if you need to because that's an A minor 7, it's still going to sound good. Or just hit those two strings there. And let's see, there was another thing that I did on that. Oh, I went to the, uh, the C7. So I just went and then played the whole C7. The second time I did this, I did a little fast Brian Sutton style lick. So you could either do it twice on the A string and the G, the D string, or the, excuse me, on the D string and the G string, or you can just do it on the G string. Okay, and all that is, is the picking. So, um, it's an up and a down. That hammer on, you're not going to pick twice, it's just an up and a down hammer on. So it's every upstroke after you hit the A string, after you hit the, excuse me, after you hit the D string, every upstroke. 
is going to switch strings. Up goes to the D, goes to that G, goes to the B. And that's probably the most difficult part of this piece. So you might want to just practice that much of it. Open, open, and quick hammer on. And this one is not a quick hammer on, it just goes, each pick stroke is a note. Okay, and the whole phrase is... kind of like the first part uh, which we did the only difference in the first part uh, and the second part is that little run okay now the, the other way we do it is just a pull a hammer on on the upstroke but the, the G string is also once again an upstroke let's see So the picking is still the same, but we have that little hammer on. That little hammer on gives us the upstroke, but we don't have the downstroke this time. We don't have the, we just have the, but it's still when we change strings, it's always an upstroke. Okay. Try to end it with some kind of tag better than what I did on the first part of that. Or, see, 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 see. See, that would probably be. Um, I think I've done this on another, I think I've done this on another, um, hold on a second. All right, I've done this on another video, I think, but it goes, uh, so it goes to that D, which is like a, a D with an open E, which is a D7 open E. So it's like a, another, let's see, a seven suspended. So the, the important thing there is the pinky goes on the B string if you play the G like this. It goes on the G string. And I'm muting the bottom uh, the E string with my fingers here. That way it won't play. But probably could sound good. Say, so, okay, so here, here's the, uh, the lick again. Okay, so that is the end of, um, I almost said Beaumont Rag. Billy in the low ground. And uh, 
there you have that and i hope that was a good lesson and hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe down here uh, there'll be a video popping up shortly if it already hasn't uh, allowing you to subscribe to my channel and on this side you can uh, click on that for more information about um, being a subscriber of my totally free guitar newsletter and it's chock full of high quality videos much like this one that will um, really get you incorporated into the guitar a lot more than what you probably already are now uh, it deals more along the lines of electric guitar uh, but it is good for any guitarist and I've said this the last few videos I've had check it out you've got nothing to lose because you can unsubscribe at any time uh, if you subscribe you'll get a four-part lesson immediately uh, entitled the four most important you need to know when playing I think scales and solos it's been a while since I've come out with that but I've went over the, you know a lot of things in that uh, went over the cage method I went over uh, so all kinds of handy tips, tricks, and techniques, and a lot of stuff that I could not fit into my Texas Blues guitar course, which you can also find out by going to uh, my website at www.secretsoftexasbluesguitar.com. So make sure to check those things out. Check out the show notes at the bottom here for any uh, in extra information, extra links, or anything like that. And I will see you at the next video, and you have yourself a lovely day. And be sure to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel here. And uh, have fun with that tune, Billy in the Low Ground. Have a good day and enjoy playing the guitar. <laughs>